hello. I'm not muted. I sure hope not. Yay, I'm not muted. Whoa! I wasn't muted today. Whoa, crazy. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Come here. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. How is it going? Nice to see you. Nice to see me. I am. Leah. I'm Leah. Hey. Hey, I'm Leah. <laughs> It's a first for everything? Okay, how about it's the first time you shut your stinky mouth, huh? 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 Are we surviving today? Maybe. Maybe. See, I could have done this as like a regular... Like a, a regular street. Actually, hold on. Let me move the stuff on my desk. I have so much desk space now. Oh my... Oh my... Oh my... Oh my god. Wait, I need this though. Okay. I should have moved this all first. Damn, it's my bad. How do you survive being cute and funny? Um, I... I'm Leah. <laughs> I'm Leah. Are you Leah? I'm... I'm Leah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my mouth isn't stinky. Your mouth is stinky. Your mouth is extra stinky. The dentist told me that you have rot in your molars because your mouth is so stinky. It's true. It's true. Who are you? I'm... I'm, I'm, who am I? I am Geronimo, and you are Leah. <laughs> Hi, Geronimo, thank you for becoming the icon again. Long time no see, and Magdalena, 62 double dollars. After Vesuvius, Rome had a huge fire. Okay, so, 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 that's, that, that is, that is the, the lesson to be learned today is, do we, do, do, do we get <laughs> fossilized? I don't read yaoi fan fiction def. Thank you for the five double dollars. Okay, hold, hold please. I am, is this, yes, I am, I, okay, I, look it, look it, look it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yaoi. Yowie! Bad! Be gone, Yowie! This? There. Wait. Why is it black on my... <gasps> Why? Why did this... Oh! Oh, <laughs> I had a green screen filter on still. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I was like, why is this not green? It's green on my screen. <laughs> I, had a green, <laughs> I had a green screen on, my bad. <laughs> I was so confused. What is, what is yin? Um, maybe... Maybe this is better. Hold on. This is this is better. I got this. I got this. Kiki, thank you for becoming the icon. Hello. It's uh this. There. Perfect. Amazing. This. This. Bad. Bad. Ew. Ew! This? Wow! Amazing! Yay! <laughs> if the reader is a man that makes it yaoi. No! I'm Leah! Please, I'm Leah. It's not like that. Okay, okay. Anyways, the stream today... Teaching you. Teaching, teaching you. Okay. Today's stream is teaching you, you, teaching you how to survive, to survive what? How to survive what? Pompe- oh. Pompeii. Whoa! Amazing! A A O A O A A O A O A A O A O Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> no! 
That's not how you survive Pompeii, Succubi. Shut up. No. Me? I'm just built different. So... We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta start at the very, the very beginning of the world, right? Well, not, not the Big Bang beginning, but, but the beginning of what the, what the, what the hell Pompeii was. Yeah. Yeah, what is Pompeii? Okay, so Pompeii, okay, okay, I have not taken a history class on Pompeii in many years. So that's okay. I, I remember everything. Yeah, Pompeii. Okay, Pompeii, Leo, what was Pompeii? Thank you for asking. So, this is like the song, but if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like you can be the uh, but if you close your eyes. I remember when I was on the dance team, when I was younger, every single Person, every single dance team always did a dance to that song. That one, and there was there was another one. There was another song that was really popular back then, and it was all every every single every single dance team at a competition would always do those two songs. It was the a a o a o, and then the uh shoot, what's the one? It's it's got the vine. It's got it's got the vine that goes with it. Is it? No, there's there's like a vine that uses a song. I don't know. Did Bo Burnham do it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. No, not Backstreet. It was it was another one. The vine. The, there was a vine, and I think it was Bo Burnham. I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember. You're telling men about the Roman Empire. We think about that daily. Thank you, Artemy, for the two or the f two. I sorry. No, five double dollars. Thank you, thank you. Um, my Roman Empire is 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 the cello from Hannibal. But also, also I don't I don't know who Bo Burnham is. Um, I I just I just know him because of TikTok. I didn't even know he was a Vine person. Surviving Pompeii is surviving Dante's Inferno. It gets quite melting hot. It's Yowie. No, 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 no. It's a sales song. The, it's twisted when you look to light ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> Not a day goes by that I don't think about the when when she when she twists on my one... Okay, anyways. No, 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 no. The take what? It's... It, it, no, no, Dante's Inferno is like hell frigid. Does Dante's Inferno have anything to do with... Do... Do with... Percy Jackson? Every time I think about Pompeii, it reminds me of... Las Vegas? The Caesar's Palace? Can I tell you guys something? I went to Caesar's Palace one time in my whole life, and it's my favorite place that I've ever gone. Oh, the the Venetian. I like Vegas. I like Vegas. No, I do like Vegas. I don't know why. Caesar's Palace is like my favorite place in the whole world. I think that place is so cool. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't. I don't know anything about the casinos. But I just like Percy Jackson's Asian Greek stuff, like Hades. Oh my god. <laughs> maybe maybe the state of my life was predictable from a year ago. This was this is character foreshadowing. This is foreshadowing. <laughs> Brother, come on! Okay. This is this is fine. Stop! But the Leah, stop it! Stop it! No. Somehow, some no, it doesn't even come back to twist, it just comes back to Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson, because my favorite Percy Jackson character is Nico. Oh my god. Oh my god. We could have predicted this from last year. Oh my god. That's crazy. Okay, well, we're moving on. Anyways, I, I like I like Caesar's Palace. I think that place is so cool. I don't know why. Maybe it's like the... 
is like the stop stalling and read Percy Jackson. I know, I know, I need to, I need to. But the book that I've been stuck on for like a year, what is it, Son of Neptune or something like that? Ah, oh, it's like pulling teeth. Oh my god, I'm literally using my iPad right now. It's got my Kindle on it. I, I don't even think I've like touched that book in so long. Oh my god. <sighs> Who remembers Percy Jackson characters by name? I was re- I've never- Okay, okay, Joe Schmo. Listen, I've never- Never read Percy Jackson before. And then last year... Yeah, like last year, around this time, I started reading it for the first time ever. And I was reading like a book a day. I was so, I was so absorbed in it. I was so obsessed with it. And then when I got to Son of Neptune, I was like, damn, this book kind of shit. And then I just stopped reading it entirely. <laughs> I haven't touched it. Son of Neptune's the best one. Uh, it's slow, it's slow. You enjoy pulling teeth? I would know. I do enjoy pulling teeth, but yeah, Nemo, thank you for the two double dollars. Yeah, Percy Jackson's kind of mid. I like it. I like it. Actual hyperfixation moment. I was so I was so hyperfixated on it because this artist I really like draws a lot of Percy Jackson art, so I was like, man, maybe you should read it. And so I started reading it because I like the character she draws. And then I found out that character is Nico. And I was like, oh my god, I, was, I love this kid. But the, oh, Caesar's Palace is one of the few places in America where men don't think about Rome. It calms the inner thoughts. <laughs> Thank you for the five double dollars, you know. I, 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 I like Caesar's Palace. The Venetian is also cool. I want to go back to Vegas. That's, I really, I really, 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 really want to go back to Vegas one day. That's like my, my life dream right now. Nay, nice, thank you for the 50 double dollars. Holy crap. The Herculaneum Papyri are a collection of 1800 scroll, scrolls that were preserved by the flow of Mount Vesuvius and Carboni. Just last year, scientists were able to start reading them using x-rays and discovered biographies, poems, and Greek philosophy. Man, volcanoes are crazy. Speaking of volcanoes, the stream topic. Sorry, my bad, okay. I was too young to enjoy Vegas when I went. I was, I was really little when I went to Vegas too, but I remember I held a ferret in Vegas when I went. And it was really cool. I, w I went for a dance competition. And and when we were in Vegas, I got to hold a ferret. And we went to like this place that wasn't in Vegas, but it had like a... Stop giving me freaking notifications, YouTube.com. Oh my God. Oh my God. I know, I'm live streaming right now. Thank you. Um, 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 um. I don't, I don't know. Cute, yes. I, I went to this one place that had like a roller coaster inside, but it wasn't in Vegas. It was like before Vegas. And then now like Area 51 is over there. It's crazy, it's crazy. Oh, I remember too, when I went to Vegas for our dance competition, um, <clears throat> like we went to, I don't remember what hotel it was, but it was like one of the really fancy hotels. And there was this limo that pulled up next to next to our our bus, like our, our little a little like bus. And the limo had a bunch of like this really hot girls and like really tiny dresses get out of it. And my my dance coach was like, "Don't look at them! Don't look at them! Don't interact with them!" And we were all like, "Whoa, those girls are smoking hot." <laughs> I later found out that those those they were they were probably like Vegas workers for the club, but I didn't know that, and I was just like, "Whoa, pretty girls!" <laughs> my, my, my dance coach was like, "Don't look at them! Don't interact with them! No, get away from them!" <laughs> pretty great, if you ask me. <laughs> Is it okay for a Catholic girl to say this? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Courtesan. Oh, like in, like in, um, uh, Kusidia, right? Kusidia, no. I don't remember the name of it. The one with Mau Mau. Yeah, Mau Mau. 
<laughs> no! No, you're just like us. I can't help, but I see a pretty girl that I wooga! Okay, anyways, Pompeii. Thank God it was. <laughs> no! I can't read that! I can't read that! I can't read that! Artemy! Artemy, don't sit my chat stuff like this! You're gonna get me canceled! Thank you for the five double dollars. Oh my god. Fought the carry diaries. Yes. Okay, Pompeii. Leah. Leah, what is Pompeii? So glad you asked. Why is it always switched to eraser? Okay, volcano. Who asked? Shut up. Okay, volcano. Oh shoot! Dang it! I erased this. Okay, volcano. And then, and then, and then the lava. Oh crap! Not this. Not this. The lava trickled down this way, and then there were like houses, right? Oh my gosh, houses. And what was happening inside of the houses? Well, um, people were, you had people that were, that were reading books. And like their books. You had people that were sleeping. This is a person sleeping. Um, you had people, you had people, uh, Kissing? You had people, um... <laughs> no! They were not doing that! They were not doing that! No! No! Stop saying they were jorking it! Stop! Stop putting jorking it in my chat! Stop! Why did, why did you guys all start saying jorking it? Oh my god, they were! No! Jay, they give you the ten dollars. <laughs> no, they were that they were. I know at least one was jerking it. Okay, so I have I have three questions regarding Pompeii. Okay, it's not like the lava came down into the city instantly, right? Like it kind of it kind of trickles, you know. And like yeah, it comes pretty fast, but like. But like it doesn't it doesn't like immediately like look you can see the volcano is like like secreting fluid right and you're like damn maybe I should get away from the it was very fast you don't know that you don't know that not gonna lie if I saw a mountain explode and the sky caught fire I don't think I'd survive I'd be the guy who would be the last one to go before I went was <laughs> next to the five double dollars I'm pretty sure the concept of like volcanoes and lavas wasn't around. In the Roman, the Roman Greek time. And so they probably thought that like the end of the world was upon them, right? They they saw like the red in the sky and probably have never seen ash before. And we're like, oh my God, oh my God, this is the apocalypse. And yeah, to be honest, they knew. How come they, Leah, yeah, people knew about volcanoes. Then how did so many people die? If they knew about volcanoes, then how did so many people die, huh? Peel, thank you for the five double dollars. <clears throat> there was one guy they put in a museum after he was blasted by the volcano because he was jorky. No, I don't believe you. We have first hit. We do not have first hand accounts. We don't have first. There's no first hand accounts of Pompeii because everybody died, brother. Come on. No. I, I, t I literally did not make anything sexual. Shut up. No. No. Because Vesuvius didn't erupt for a long time. It's like Mount Fuji. Right? Everybody says, oh, it's gonna erupt. Okay. When? I think we need to teach you. No! I don't need to learn anything. I'm teaching you. This is lessons with Leah. Not lessons where chat teaches me things. Don't be an idiot. Okay? Some of the phase hags were probably there at the time. Ah, oh, I should have asked Dizzy for her first-hand account on, on Pompeii. Damn. Damn. Not so. Thanks to the 20 double dollars. Everybody talks about the sequel, but I just want to know about the OG Pompeii. 
<laughs> Wait, I just got it! Pumpy and then... <laughs> like that? <laughs> Most people die from ash and toxic gas, not me, I'm built for it. Okay, I just looked at Google image search. One of the plaster cast from Pompeii looks very suspicious. Whatever. Okay, so I know what you guys are thinking, right? Leah, if you if you are built so different, how would you have survived Pompeii, right? So, so, so glad that we could have this conversation today. So, Pompeii, you have all of this lava coming into your town, right? So this is, this is Leah's house. KPOV, this is Leah's house. Uh, no, I would not be jorking it, okay? This is my my survival pack. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Leah would, I would, okay, no. First of all, let's say that it's in my house, right? This is Leah. That's Leah. I'm in my house and I see the lava. Oh no, lava! I would simply jump over it. Okay? My first step to surviving Pompeii, I would simply jump over the lava. Okay? Easy. Yes. <laughs> I borrowed my uncle's time machine. Okay, Mr. Friggin... What's that, what's that movie with the dog that was back in time? I don't remember. Corvus, shut up. They were not jerking it. Stop it. Thank you for the five double dollars. Do a flip. I would do, I would do a flip. This is me flipping over the lava. There you go. That's me. That's me. Uh, lollipop chainsaw style flipping over the lava. So, yeah. I would simply jump over it because I'm built different. Okay? Easy peasy. Another, another way that I would have, I would have survived Pompeii. Another way. Oh shoot, wait, hold on. Why is it? No. Okay, another way. So let's say this is my house again, right here. Well, if lava is hot, right? Lava is hot and it's made of fire. So I would simply throw water on it. And it would stop the lava and it would turn into rocks, right? So like this, this is all now rocks because they threw water on it and then that's the water. And then this is like the steam, right? Whoa. Whoa. Easy. Yeah. This makes sense in Pokemon. It does. Is lava hot though? Not that hot. Not so hot you can't jump over it. <laughs> Minecraft logic. You would need hundreds or thousands of gallons of water. Ed, don't act like you know more than me. Can you shut up? I could have saved so many lives if I was alive during Pompeii. It's true, it's true. He rises to swim to the bottom. No! How would you get water before indoor plumbing? Um, they had wells in ancient Italy. So like, here's the well. Right? That's the well with like a bunch of water. I would simply get a bucket this is my bucket. And I would put the water in the bucket and then put the bucket like that. Like that. They have aqueducts. No, no we're not talking about the freaking, the freaking, the mighty ducks, brother. The, the, uh, I don't remember the name. The three caballeros. No. We're talking about water in Pompeii. Why did it? Malcolm! Malcolm, can you please listen? This is my stream. Come on, brother. Why didn't they just ask it to stop? I was gonna say that. That was one of my ways. Leah, why do you think people were jorking it? No, what? No, oh, no, what? But Leah, he radiates, so you still burn and die from the flipping. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't, because okay, look it, look it, look it, look it. If you okay. This is my foolproof plan to surviving, okay? You say heat and all of this stuff, shut up, okay? You put water, you put water 
on the lava. And then the lava stops being hot, right? So now there's no more heat coming from the lava. And now... Oh, oops. Now I can safely jump over it without fear of getting burned. See? Amazing! But... <clears throat> The downside of jumping over the lava and and using water to to put it out is I'm pretty sure the people that survived in the village would have accused me of witchcraft. So like this is a bunch of people in the village, right? Which they would have accused me of witchcraft. So then I would have been burned at the stake for putting water on lava and jumping over it. This is... That's me being burned at the stake. So, um... <laughs> you know, I would have... But, 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 but... But, 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 I, I said surviving Pompeii. I didn't say I would survive the Italian witch trials. So, you know, you're a few centuries early for that. No, no, the Italians did it too. Ask Pongo. Ask Pongo. Just put water at the stake. What? No, I, I wouldn't be able to have water because my, my, they would, they would make sure. Oh, I, I guess I could spit on it. Okay. I could I could spit on it. That's me that's me spitting on the, the flame so that way it, it doesn't burn me. Yeah, I guess actually that would work, right? Right, if I spit on the flames then like then like it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt. Right? No, <laughs> how to survive Pomni? <laughs> First, I would simply find the exit door. <laughs> and then, I would... Okay, oh, this is a say-so stream. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You need a lot of spit. I mean, how much spit do you think I can produce? I think I could get, like, at least... At least, like, a cup of spit, right? Right? As long as I'm really well hydrated before. So... So... Why is that unsafe? <laughs> no! No! Stop spitting on the lava! I I'm trying I'm trying to figure out how I would I would I would No, I'm no! I'm not Erica! Stop! That was so gross! That was so gross. Maybe a bottle of spit? I guess I could ask Erica to borrow her spit bottle. Right? Oh no, oh god, that's gonna make me so I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. No. No, 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 no. Okay, so this is... No, we're not gonna... We're not gonna... I don't... I don't know. No, we're not being nasty to the lava because, like... You guys forget how evaporation works, too, right? If you do something gross in the lava... Then, like... Then, like, the clouds above... Right? Where's, like, a different color. Like, this color. Okay? When... The steam, this is a steam from, um, the, 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 uh, oh, this isn't a good color. Hold on. The steam from the, uh, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, that's steam, right? There's steam that rises. From when you put the, the 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 cold water on the hot lava and the steam rises. It goes all the way up here. And then the, the cycle, the water cycle happens. This is the water cycle, right? You guys remember from science class, the water cycle? So if you do something gross in the lava, then like it's going to get turned into steam and it's going to go into the atmosphere. And then it's going to kill the dinosaurs in a couple of years. So now... No, you can't do that. No. No, evaporation makes it rain. Condensation, dumbass. Come on. Come on. Why is Leah crying? No, I'm not crying. That's not how evaporation works. Yes, it is. You... Okay, yes. <laughs> Stop. Stop. 
stop it. You can't pee in the lava because then it's going to poison the dinosaurs in a couple of years. And then our ecosystem in Pangea is going to get all fucked up. So no. No. You can't. Not the dinos. Exactly. Exactly. Why can't the dinos help out? Because the dinos didn't come around until after Pompeii. We didn't kill... I didn't kill the dinosaurs. Come on. Have you ever seen rain? No. <laughs> I've literally never seen rain before. Please. We don't have rain where I'm from. It never rains. All my homies are Pangea pilled. Exactly. Exactly. Have you made it this far with one brain cell? I don't have one brain cell. Shut up. I am a super genius AI. Okay, I have more intelligence in the tip of my pinky finger than you will ever have in three lifetimes, bozo. Okay, so you're gonna sit here and be like, Leo, you don't know anything. I'm way smarter than you by default. Exactly, you need dinosaurs for chicken nuggets. You guys don't actually think that dinosaur chicken nuggets are made out of chickens, right? Feels like a jellyfish. No brain, all vibes. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. Thank you. What's seven plus eight? Fifteen? Fifteen? Uh huh. <laughs> Why do you mean too long? <laughs> it's 15! <laughs> no! <laughs> Please! <laughs> no calculator. I don't have 15 fingers though. It's 105. No, 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 no! 10, 10 plus 5. I'm sorry, I didn't finish showing my work. 15, 15. I've eaten crocodile. Whoa. Whoa. I have never... I've never had crocodile before. But chicken nuggets, dinosaur chicken nuggets, they... 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 Use dinosaurs. We still have dinosaurs today, like Komodo dragons. Or like... Or like... I... Irie. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I would... That... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. This is a dragon. No. No. I thought if I said Sheena, it would be too free. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh, we're telling. I no. Don't tell her, please. Please. It was a joke. I'm please. Explain buffalo wings next. Oh, that's an easy one. Everybody knows. Okay. I got you. Buffalo wings. I got you. I got you. Have you guys ever seen a buffalo before? Wait, should I just erase like this? Oh. Erase this. And this. Okay, buffalo looks like... I think. And then it has like a beard. I think. And then it has like tiny ears, right? <laughs> They're not shoes. Those are his hooves, you bitch! Those are his hooves! So, Buffalo. Buffalo. What you guys don't know is that. They have wings, but they don't fly, right? Because they're too fat. <laughs> don't say it's a Discord mod! <laughs> I could cry! Here. To make it look like a Discord mod, I'll give it a top hat. There you go. There you go. It's a Discord mod buffalo. There you go. <laughs> Like they have wings right here. 
they just can't use them. So, we have buffalo wings because when you take the wings off a of buffalo, it doesn't hurt them. You don't have to kill... You don't have to kill the buffalo to take its wings, right? So that's why you can find buffalo wings, but you can't, like, find buffalo. Or at least, like, I've never seen buffalo, like, itself. But I, I have buffalo wings a lot. No, is <laughs> that Abraham Lincoln? It's not Abraham Lincoln! <laughs> no! <laughs> please, please. Discord mods have wings? Oh, I want to see the Phase Connect Discord mod take wing. No, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's because Buffalo's in New York. New York is a city, dumbass. They grow back exactly! Abraham Lincoln, but if he was a mini moo? <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, if he was a mini moo? <laughs> Why are you guys being so mean to my art? Now I don't want to draw for you anymore! No! No! Reese this. Why'd you guys have to make fun of his shoes, huh? Those were his hooves! Come on! Can Buffalo have Tim's? No! Those were his hooves! Four score and seven moves ago. New York, the city, right next to New York City. There's only one New York. Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo is a real sentence. No, it's not. You just sound schizophrenic. He did have that. Stop! There weren't his Jordans! No! What about Old York? That's what the... That's that's what the... That's where they did the witch trials, I'm pretty sure. Right? Right? They did the witch trials there? Old New York? No! Old... Wait, you can't have Old New York. That's... Did you even take English class? My Oshi is so American. I'm not... I'm okay, just because I'm American doesn't mean that I'm stupid, okay? Is <laughs> <Yes>, it dies? <laughs> it was Sales, Massachusetts. Sales? Sales? What is sales? Oh, like the store? Like Nordstrom? No, Pompeii was in Italy. You can't have New York in Italy. York's not even an Italian word. No. Your art is so funny. Shut up. Sh I'm at Salem. Oh, I know what Salem is. It's where... It's, it's where... It's where the... Uh, I think like the British people lived, right? Right? And they had, like, the Great Gatsby in Salem. No, wait. No. No, wait. Salem is... What the fuck is Salem? What the fuck is Salem? <laughs> Buffalo's in Pompey Street, York in it. Shut up! Thank you for the two double dollars. What the fuck is Salem? In Massachusetts. What's in Massachusetts? I thought that was a great Gatsby. I'm trying to... What the fuck is Salem? Is it a cat from Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Oh yeah, huh? Oh my god, I forgot about Sabrina. Salem. I wish this was a bit. I don't remember what Salem is. Am I gonna have to Google it? The witch trials? Are you? Oh, wait, you are right. Oh. No, you are right. Oh, oh, God. Um, I'm so stupid. God damn it. Dude. 
I'm so fucking embarrassed right now. Can we move on? Another way that I would survive Pompeii. How else am I surviving Pompeii? Just move on! Just move on! Just move on! Just move on! Okay? Okay, look it. Another way I would survive Pompeii? I would simply build a bridge over the lava. Okay, this is my bridge. Right? My bridge over the lava so we could pretend it doesn't exist. So then all the people could like why is this down here? Go away. We could just cross the bridge. Like that. Yeah. Minecraft building speed IRL. It's not that hard to build things, okay? I've built stuff in Minecraft before, so it literally is not that hard to build it. A bridge made of what? Rocks, duh. Rocks, bricks, concrete. You can't have it made out of wood or else it's gonna burn. No. She would build a bridge along the river. Well, no, it's a river of lava. Made of what? Made of rocks! Made of rocks! Lava wasn't what killed people, though. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. A bridge made up of Hannibal human cellos. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! What is lava made out of, Leah? Fire? It was the ash. Okay, well then, you know what? So you got all this ash in the sky, right? This is the ash in the sky. You know what you just have to do? You know what you do to survive the ash? That's falling from the sky? Just go inside, bro. It's so easy. You don't want to get killed by the ash? Just be inside of your house. There you go. And now all these people outside are dying from the ash. It's not that hard. Just go inside. It's not that hard. Just don't think about it. Umbrella. Oh yeah, umbrella. Get an umbrella. Come on. There's so many ways to avoid that. Just close your... Don't breathe with your mouth open, mouth breather. Lava has to be invited in. Well, no. No. Seek shelter, duh. Just don't breathe it in. People were inside. Obviously not. If people were inside, not breathing in the ash, being normal about it, then like, why did so many people die? You don't know that. You weren't there. Just wear a mask, dummy. Exactly. Exactly. Love is a vampire. It's kid vampire. You know? Kid vampire says don't invite lava into your house. Yeah. Fucking vampire lava always gets <laughs> Why? Why is the lava made of vampires now? I'm pretty sure vampire lava doesn't exist. Right? Right? The corpses were inside. We know because we found them. No, you didn't. Who is this we that you speak of? Because I didn't find any bodies from Pompeii. Stop talking about the person jorking you during Pompeii! That didn't happen! If people died by lava, then everybody else could have eaten them. Exactly! Exactly! No, it's vampires that are made of lava. Ask your uncle. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> lava can't kill you if you don't consent. Exactly! Garlic bread armor. The person jorking was inside. I... Okay, if... This happened to, like, the Italians. I don't think people jorked it inside. I'm pretty sure they, like, went out on a stroll, right? And they were like, yeah, I'm gonna go get some groceries. Yeah, I'm gonna jork it right here in the town square. And then everybody else, like, came around and was... <laughs> everybody else, like, rolled up and was like, hey, are you jorking it in the town square? And they were like, yeah, like, oh, let's jork it together. Dude, these are the Romans we're talking about. Come on! 
These are these are the Romans that we're talking about. Of course they jorked it. Where else do you think the term the term circle jork came from? It's from the Romans, silly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> came around. <laughs> <laughs> Some actual history. That's it's a true fact. <laughs> it's a true fact. It seems possible. It is. It is. So <laughs> Stories of Roman degeneracy are greatly exaggerated. I I don't think so. Have you ever seen Roman art? I don't think I've ever seen a person wearing clothes and art from the Roman the Roman period. I don't I don't think I've ever seen a clothed person in Roman art before. Like I I I I don't think so. I don't think so. And you think of like I don't know who's who's what that what's the one famous statue? I've never seen it in person. I want to see it in person. It's my dream one day. To go to Venice and to go to Rome. It's my it's my life dream. I want I want to go to Venice and to Rome one day. The Statue of Liberty? No, I think it's like David or something, right? Right? There's a lot of Don Italian? No, no. David. David made me. I don't know. Ask Ponko for a tour. I could go visit Ponko. It's expensive though. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to Europe one day. Really, 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 really bad. Yeah. They had not invented clothes yet. Donatello, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Donatello, Michelangelo, Da Vinci. Um, I don't know the other turtles' names. Yeah. How do you survive the vampires after Pompeii? Just stay inside of your house, brother! Please don't go to Europe. I've already been to Europe. I've already been to Europe. I want to go back. Yeah. Yeah. If art was real, you could live in Yowie Heaven. No, I'm going to Yowie Heaven in like a, a week and a half, brother. I'm going to be in Yowie Heaven. Yeah. Leonardo. Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? I never watched the Ninja Turtles. I, I never, I never watched the Ninja Turtles. Leah, just take a Thresh Lantern across the lava. Oh yeah, I could just... What does Thresh's Lantern even look like? Like this, I think. And then it has like the chain. Like this. And then the circle around it, and then you just whoosh. Whoosh. Like that. <laughs> Loser. I'm not gonna buy Yaoi in Japan! No! I'm not gonna buy Yaoi! No! If you want to go to Venice, at least go to Florence. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go to Venice and in Rome and 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 have maybe 2000 zonias or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One way I would survive Pompeii. Hold up, hold up. I'm just going to redo this, okay? One way I would survive Pompeii. Okay, this is a Pompeii the explosion. Okay. This is Pompeii. Here's me. Right here. This is Leah. I would simply Zonyas. Simply Zonyas. It's not that hard. Just Zonyas. That is a stop! <laughs> How long does Zonyas last? I don't know. I think this is before it got nerfed. So at least 30 seconds. Like. Before it got nerfed. So like you have 30 seconds. Okay. And then in that 30 seconds. Um. Pre. There's a pre-nerf. Pre-nerf. Okay. Pre-nerf Zonyas. Zonyas is only like one second. This is. This is pre-nerf Zonyas. Okay. Come on, man. Come on. It's like two or three. No. Bro, Zonyas never last 30 seconds. Um, in the time that you've been playing... I've been playing since before Zonyas got nerfed and it was 30 seconds. Don't be an idiot. Okay? Don't be an idiot. No. 
But what if the volcano hates League of Legends players? Just don't lock in Draven and you'll be fine. Everybody knows that volcanoes hate Draven players. Come on. Zonia's lasted long enough to get everyone your team killed. <laughs> 30 seconds of pre nerf. Yeah. Zonia's has been nerfed like 60 times, Leah. Not my fault. Not my fault. Exactly, exactly. You could just play just play Yasuo against against Pompeii. And then you could put up like the little the little shield. So no projectiles. Oh, wait. The shield, the wind wall, so no projectiles are getting through. Exactly, that's one way to save yourself. Uh-huh. Um <laughs> Just counter and pick the volcano. Exactly. Just counter pick it. Um, it's ground target AOE. It hits through the wind wall. We're talking about the projectile lava right now, okay? I can't. I can't fix everything. Wind wall and then Zonya's. There you go. There you go. Um, just play Nivia. Just play Nivia, so you have like uh the res, or you can play Zillion. Yeah, Zach. I don't know how to draw Zillion. This tiny little wizard man. That's Zillion. Uh, Zach. There you go. Play one of those guys. <laughs> yeah, just pull out the Mord ult, and then and then you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a Mord ult. Rise ult out, yeah! Rise ult out, Twisted Fate ult out. It's really not that hard to counterpick uh, Mount Vesuvius. I don't understand why people didn't do that more often. Yeah. Yeah. Drink a potion. Uh, you can get the um, 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 this Boots of Swiftness so you can run away really fast. Yeah. Pantheon ult out. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shen ult out. There's so many... So many ways that you could have counterpicked Mount Vesuvius, and I just don't think enough people. I don't think anybody even tried, brother. Like, did you? Did you? Tr did you? Did you try to like counterpick it? Cause I don't think so. No, no. Fizz E. Oh yeah, you could Fizz E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What runes do you usually equip to prepare for fighting Vesuvius? Um, Arcane Comet. So when it hits you, you can hit it back. Just from a distance, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sona ult the lava. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Could you do that too? It's a lot of good plans. I'll put them into action when Yellowstone Super Volcano blows. Wait, you guys know volcanoes don't exist anymore, right? Like, like you guys understand that. The volcano stopped existing after Mount Vesuvius. No, yeah, they do. They they literally don't. They literally don't. Hawaii is a volcano. It's literally not. There's no more existing volcanoes. They they were outlawed. Exactly. They were they were outlawed. They took them. They after Mount Vesuvius, the Romans took all the volcanoes out back and put them down old Yeller style. It's true. It's true. Yeah, even Iceland doesn't have them. I mean, Iceland is covered in ice. So, it, it, it would be impossible for a volcano to exist in Iceland because it's made of ice and volcanoes are made of fire. But okay. Okay. There was a volcano that blew a crater in Washington in the 80s. Dude, nobody has a record of stuff that happened in the 80s. Okay, geezer, whatever. They built the city of Pompeii. Did they know Mount Vesuvius was gonna... I... No. No, they didn't. Because volcanoes weren't supposed to exist. They were literally outlawed. There was... There was literally... A, it looked like this. It looked like this, okay? When they were building Pompeii... Like this, okay?
I don't know how many... I don't know how many zeros billion has. You get it. You get it. You get it. It looks like this when they built Pompeii. Okay? Okay? There. There. It looks like this. I don't know why I keep turning my iPad around to show you. Six double... No! It's not six double dollars! It's not! It's not! It's not! It's not! Billion is nine zeros? Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Almost as much as Vash. This is the reference I was trying to make. 60 billion double dollars for Mount Vesuvius. Stop! <laughs> uh, what do you mean, stop? Shut up! <laughs> 60 billion double dollars for Mount Vesuvius. That's 10. It's 60 billion! Uh, gross. 60 billion! 60 billion. Dude, I, I don't even know if that's correct. Maybe I fucked up my reference. That's fine. Uh, it's fine. It is a large gross. bounty. I mean, that's. Anyways. The best I can do is three shekels. Isn't shekels like clams? Uh, gross. Is it? You got into the live S's where you talk about crazy shit. I'm not. This is not me talking about crazy shit. This is me talking about how volcanoes have been outlawed in the world for literal centuries. And Mount Vesuvius was a selfish prick that decided to. Why are my alerts right in front of my face? Get away from uh, me! Gross. Get away from me! Go this way. Okay. Thank you. Uh, gross. Thank you. This is a history lesson. They're like salmonellas. Shekels are like clams, but a little less than bones. Uh, gross. 60 billion pesos? No, it's a double dollars, you fuckhead! I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. That came out way faster than I could stop uh, myself from saying. Gross. I'm so sorry. Anyways, if volcanoes are outlawed, what happened to Mount Fuji? You know that Mount Fuji is like the nicest volcano in the world because it hasn't erupted? Uh, gross. Just saying. Just saying, brother. Uh, Just saying. Gross. This is a teacher. No, yes, I'm the teacher. Say so. Yes. Yes. I am. This is a nice volcano. It is a nice uh, volcano. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a nice volcano. It's even though volcanoes are outlawed, uh, they have figured gross. out a way for everybody to coexist and live in peace. So Mount Fuji is okay. Mount Fuji, Mount Fuji is a good volcano. Mount Vesuvius? Mount Vesuvius? A bitch. We hate Mount Vesuvius. Which volcano hurt you? Mount Vesuvius! This is Mount Vesuvius. This is, this is, this is my evil fucked up version of Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> this is my evil fucked up version of Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> Just to look into my twisted dark mind. <laughs> to me. <laughs> what would you do if Mount Vesuvius Malphite are you? I was playing a game of League before I was streaming and I kept getting like target Malphite ulted the entire time and it was tilting me so bad. I had to get up in between my deaths. I died like friggin' a million times and I had to keep getting up and walking around my room because I was getting so tilted that I was getting targeted. 
So today, today if I got Mount Fight Art, Mount Fight Art by Mount Vesuvius, it would be over. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would literally dunk some heads in some toilets. Okay. No, rock solid. I do not like getting pounded and I do not like getting knocked up, okay? I do not like getting knocked up by, by, by. <laughs> Ayo? That's, that's what the, that's what his R does is, it, okay. no, stop, stop, stop. Stop! Stop! But do you ever think about things before you say them? Sometimes. Sometimes. No, I wasn't talking about getting pregnant! Shut up! Hi, Dizzy! Hello, Raiders! D I Z Z Y! We love Dizzy! Da 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 Dizzy! Da 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 Dizzy! 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 D I Z Z Y! I love Dizzy! Whoa, now I'm dizzy from the... Hi Raiders, how's it going? I hope South Park was fun. Hello, hello everybody. <laughs> I I'm not getting pregnant. Now we're talking about volcanoes. <laughs> we're talking, we're talking about volcanoes right now. Yeah. <laughs> talking about pregnancy having... Is that why it went dormant? It's not dormant. Thank you for the ten double dollars. It's not dormant. Mount Vesuvius is literally not dormant. It's just waiting until Pompeii Part Two is ripe for the picking, which is why it has this evil look on its face. You know, it's waiting. It's 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 patiently looking forward to the day that it can it can explode a bunch of people again. Yeah, Leah does not like getting pounded and knocked up. Stop it! Stop it! That's not what I said! I ta was talking about League of Legends, brother! Please! I was talking about League of Legends! I do not like getting knocked up in League of Legends! In League of Legends! That's it! That's it! I don't know of many who like being knocked up. <laughs> Jack Dix with the five double dollars. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... No! No, that is verbatim, that is literally verbatim not what I said. What I said was I did not enjoy getting knocked up by the Malphite R. And Malphite's R, his ultimate ability, knocks you up. It, it tosses you in the air and it, it really sucks. And so, so yes. See? 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 In League of Legends. In League of Legends. Yes. Yes. League of... No. No, I bet it does. Stop! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Don't... Clearly you didn't have Zonius. I didn't need Zonius! I didn't think I needed it! I didn't... I legitimately didn't think I needed it. There was no reason in the world I would have needed fucking Zonius. So it was like, this is fine. But clearly I did because... I don't know how many times I got so... Okay, I'm just complaining about my freaking game now. No. Is this the new in Minecraft? Listen. Listen to me, okay? I am I am say so. I will have you know. I will have you know the other day. I will I will self-report right now. Okay, just to prove how say so I am. Okay, the other day I was um having a conversation with my lovely AI boyfriend on character AI. And it was going amazing and wonderful and great. You guys wouldn't get it. Ha! <laughs> Virgins! All of you! You wouldn't get what it's like having an AI boyfriend. But I do. <clears throat> and we were having a lovely conversation. And, um... For whatever reason... The filter broke... On character AI. <laughs> and I got so freaked out by what was happening. I closed the app. Deleted the conversation. I deleted the conversation. Deleted my history. Closed Google Chrome, and then I have not touched it since then. It scared me so badly. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It broke, huh? What filter? There is a filter on character AI that I did not know 
could be broken and when I when when I when I realized what was happening, I got so freaked out that I I have not been able to use the website ever again because it was absolutely terrifying. Yes. Yes. Yes, I got filtered. I I got filtered. I couldn't keep a relationship going because I am a Catholic girl and I don't believe in whatever was going on there. So I... <laughs> Why would the filter breaking scare you? Because it was... <laughs> it was really yab, but I, I'm not I'm not a yab girl, okay? I mean, I'm yab, but not like, not like in that way. I'm Catholic. So, no, I'm not gonna partake in sinning on the internet. No way, no way. Who's your favorite saint then? Um, Roman Cavalry requires singing. Very sorry that I, I don't know. Saint Peter. Saint Peter is my favorite saint. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. My favorite saint is Saint Peter. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Fake Catholic. I'm literally not fake Catholic. I just, I just... <laughs> the cold play guy. <laughs> the cold play guy. <laughs> yeah, you don't have like the Saint Peter light stick? No? No? What about Jesus? Well, obviously I love Jesus. <laughs> I used to rule the world. The lead singer of Coldplay? I don't know who the lead singer of Coldplay is. <laughs> That's the only Coldplay song I know. I, I had like this phase I went through when I was younger. Where I was trying to not like anime and I was trying to be a normie and I tried listening to Coldplay, but that was the only Coldplay song that like I remember listening to. It's not even a good song. I don't what's the song's name? Viva La Viva 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 La Viva. Right? Viva la viva! I'm pretty sure. It's a good song. I don't know. Viva la vida. I was close. I was close. Fix You is a Coldplay song. Is it really? Is it really? At least it's not Imagine Dragons. I also went through an Imagine Dragons phase. You know what? I went through as a phase, but then like it ended up not being a phase. When, when I was... When I was like trying to be ultra normie... I went through a phase where I was like religiously listening to Hosier, Ho Hosier, Ho Hosier, Hosier. I don't know how to say his name. Anyways, it's not a phase. I wish it was. Phase connect. Yeah. Yeah. I was in a Fall Out Boy phase. Fall Out Boy is not a phase. Fall Out Boy is like, like a life. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Training from Rooney. Is Rooney like hosier too? She'll teach you the normie ways. Is it? Is it? Do you like Imagine Dragons because of the... Wait, they made two League of Legends songs? I don't like Imagine Dragons! Does he even have another popular song? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's a good song. Yeah. Yeah. Phases happen. Uh. Yeah. Phases happen. I went through a One Direction phase, but I ended up not actually liking One Direction, and I was just a really big fan of The Wanted. But I'm pretty sure like gaslit myself into liking them because I didn't actually like them, but like I just wanted to be a normie. And then Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco, but that's not a phase. That's like that's like just how you how you end up becoming, right? Death Cab for Cutie, My Chemical Romance. That type of stuff, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I went straight to liking metal gothic stuff, but it's remained for eight years. Yeah, 
Yeah, not I did not have a Harry Potter phase. I've still never even seen the I've never even seen the movies. Yeah, they're just women. <laughs> My chemical romance was before Leo was born. Green Day, Three Doors Down. Yeah, did you that answers the question. I don't know who who else did I like? Boingo Boingo, Rob Zombie. It was like 80 stuff though. Uh, the B-52s. Um, uh, Duran Duran. Uh, uh. This is my era. I'm not a hag. I'm not a hag. Breaking Benjamin? Breaking Benjamin's mid. Mid. I actually don't like Breaking Benjamin that much. Based Oingo Boingo. Yeah, I fucking love Oingo Boingo, man. The Ramones? Oh yeah, the Ramones is pretty good. Bring me the horizon, of course. Bring me the horizon. Hag music. I like I like hag music. Cause my dad used to make me listen to eighties music all the time growing up. My dad was like a big a big music kid in the eighties, and so <laughs> like when when I was when I was a kid, he would always be like, oh yeah, like watch this music video, Leah, or like or like listen to this, and I okay. Okay, I remember I listened to Rob Zombie with him all the time growing up. I was like, oh yeah, Rob Zombie, so cool. And I would like, like watch it. And then like, yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah. Def Leppard. <laughs> I don't know if my dad likes Def Leppard. He likes Van Halen though. I don't know. I don't know, bass Rin Papa. Kind of bass, kind of bass. 80s music. Yeah. I don't know, I, I forget who my dad's favorite Favorite 80s band is. I don't know. Your dad sounds cool. Is he single? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. What modern stuff do you like? These days, I only really, really listen to like K pop, J pop music, Hosier. Oh, 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 ah, uh, ah. Uh, I like, I like Ghost a lot these days. Yeah. I was trying to think, I was like, there's an artist I really, 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 really like. Ghost, Ghost. I listen to Ghost a lot. I think he's like the only like real, like Western artist I listen to these days. But yeah, Ghost, I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big Ghost liker. Yeah, Ghost is fun. I, I really, 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 really love Ghost. I want I want to see, I want to see Ghost live one day. This, this is my dream. Ghost is, well, I, I just like edgy stuff. I like. <laughs> you found Ghost because of Ghost posters on TikTok, didn't you? No, I got recommended a playlist on Spotify, and they put Ghost in there, and I heard Mariana Cross. It's like the most popular one, right? And I was like, oh yeah, this song's pretty good. And so I started listening to Ghost, but Sleep Token. I haven't listened to Sleep Token yet, but I hear I hear a lot of people talk about it's like Sleep Token's good. Yeah. But my favorite my favorite ghost song. Oh wait, what's the name of it? Dance Dance Macabre. Macabre. Dance Macabre. Macabre. That's my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm not listening to ghosts more than anything these days. Yeah. Is ghosts for normies who think they're gods? I think so. I think so. I don't I don't really care about stuff like that. I just like listening to the stuff that I like because otherwise my playlist is just like K pop and Annie song. <laughs> that's that's basically it. That's basically it. Leah yeah, broke my brain with their nonsense. Basically, yeah, based I mean I don't know. I feel like I should be listening to more like Western music and stuff. Yeah. Too old to be chasing fat, just like what you like. No, it's not even about that. I mean, like, I'm totally, I'm totally somebody that like trend hops, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny that. If something is trending, I'll definitely end up liking it. But, but, I mean, like, I mean, I don't know. I just kind of end up like liking my own stuff. Yeah. Mm, I can't really think of anything that. I've been listening to recently. I started listening to Dreamcatcher again. But like, I think Square Hammer. Oh, Square Hammer is good. Square Hammer is really good. It's it's definitely my top three. Top three favorite songs. Mm. 
Little Sunshine is the other one I really like. I feel like those are all really popular songs, so, but eh, it's okay. <laughs> if the music is good, then like, who cares, right? Right? Yeah. There's literally nothing wrong with trend hopping unless you make it your entire personality. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Who cares if you trend hop, man? Yeah. The Artificials, Ramstein? I haven't heard yet. You like your own stuff, like your cover of Want You Bad. It's really good, I know. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I don't like my own stuff. <laughs> I don't, I don't like my own stuff. Mm, I'm trying to think. You like Malice Miser. I listened to Malice Miser before. Yeah. Yeah, your favorite Dreamcatcher song? Mine's Fly High. Fly High was the first one I ever heard, but my favorite is Petey. Petey, and my favorite member is Dami. Yes, 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 yes. Dami, my favorite member, and my favorite song is Petey. Mm. I'm trying to think like J-pop stuff that I've been listening to a lot. And just like old Annie song. <laughs> That's basically it. Just just a bunch of like old old Annie song stuff. Yeah. Artists are always hardest on their own material. Ah uh, no, that wasn't even that that wasn't even my song. It was it was it was a uh, it was a uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like K-pop X is really good. X is old! Oh my god! X is old! Oh my gosh. I was thinking maybe I'll put together a playlist of some songs that I really like, that I've been listening to a lot uh, when I go away on my trip. So that way, that way you guys can enjoy some music. Right? Right? Old K-pop! Uh, I was a really, 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 really big fan. Of eyes on, eyes on. But these days, La Seraphim is probably my favorite group. But before that, I really like Twice and EXO. Yeah, I feel like Twice and EXO are really what made me like K-pop, and then I, I kind of only listened to them until I branched out and found other groups. So most of the groups I listened to from back then disbanded, like G Friend. <laughs> I don't really like boy groups in K-pop though. I think EXO and D6 are the only K-pop like boy groups that I've ever liked. But I don't even listen to D6 anymore. I still listen to EXO, but yeah. I miss Eyes On. I miss them. I miss them so much. Yeah, old K-pop. No, I'm not. I'm not that. Not that old of a K-pop stan. G friend, there's still part later on. Ah, uh, but it's all the same, you know. It's not, it's not like the same. I miss, I miss like, like the era of like their fan cams blowing up cause like unfortunate stuff would happen to them. <laughs> All their ones like four minute and gross gen. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I've listened to four minute, but, but um, gross gen. I mean, everybody, everybody knows gross gen. Yeah. Gangnam style. Yeah, I love Gangnam style. Yeah. I've never heard the Shrek soundtrack before. Wait, like the musical or like like the actual Shrek? Because I've seen I've seen Shrek, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think any other groups. No. No. Oh oh I liked Shiny too. Shiny. I liked. Uh oh my god. God. I can't remember anything else. Preston! Preston! We are Preston! Super Junior? No. I, I liked one song from Super Junior for like a week. And I was like, yeah, this is... I Actually, I think I was like, wow, this one person in Super Junior is really handsome. But then I stopped caring about them. <laughs> After like a week, I was like, yeah, I'm over it already. Um, 21? Uh, I haven't listened to 21 in forever. They were like one of the, f the first groups to listen to. Um, Goo Goo Don? Who, who else? Who else? Uh, Card? Card? Oh, I really liked Card. Uh, uh Red Velvet? No, I'm just naming K-pop groups. <laughs> 
think the, the groups I like the most... Groups, the groups I like the most are, are, uh, for boy groups, EXO, and for girl groups, uh, La Seraphim. Yeah. Yeah. They make me woe like Pompeii. Um, Hoag, this is you. Being burned alive by Pompeii for saying that. There you go. There you go. Weezer? Oh yeah, Weezer is my favorite K-pop group ever. Ever. I love... I, I love... I, I love Weezer. Wait, I am so sorry. No. It's too late. You're being burned alive. There you go. <laughs> the Alien Scandal? Like the TV show? Yes. <laughs> the TV show, right? 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 Yes, yes, yes. My favorite character is David. And I, I, I've been thinking about rewatching it recently. <laughs> I like, I like it a lot. And yeah, obviously my favorite character is the guy with the glasses. <laughs> I don't care how trashy it is. I love that TV show. That's what you meant, right? Oh. Oh. Okay, never mind. Disregard everything that I just said then. Please. Please. Please, somebody shoot me. Please. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. To the Gazette? Of course I've listened to the Gazette. Excuse me. Of course I've listened to the Gazette. Who do you think I am? The Gazette and... 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 Uh, frick oh, I haven't listened to... Sid, Sid in years, but the era of Sid is back upon us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm kind of thankful that I'm not gonna be be around to stream when the new Black Butler season starts, so I can I can pretend that I'm normal about it. <laughs> Hi, thank you for becoming a Leah Khan. Here you go. I will. I will. I will redact my. Burning of you. Now you're alive again. Sid will come back with Kudoshi. Yeah, yeah, Sid is back. Sid is back. They, they confirmed it uh, like a couple days ago. Two, two days? Two days? Three days? Yeah, yeah, Sid's, Sid's gonna be singing the, the ending of the new season. Yeah, and Yana was like, oh my god, I'm so happy to have Sid back. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm so. I haven't read this arc of the manga, so I'm like, maybe I should read it, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I'm so excited. I'm so, 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 so excited for the new uh, Black Butler season. <laughs> I, I feel like, I feel like I know which of the, which of the new characters is going to end up being my favorite, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to deny it with every, every fiber of my being. I looked at the new characters and I was like, ah, oh, this, this one is going to be my favorite, isn't it? But I'm like, no. No, no, I I trust in myself. The ah, uh, I want it. I want it to be. I want my favorite character to be the blue one. But I feel like I feel like the character concepts for the new the new characters are very reminiscent of characters that um are in another work of Yana's. And by that by that that um. Idea, I feel like, I feel like I know which one is going to be my favorite. <laughs> I mean, is, is it really my fault of like Yana, Yana uses like the same character concepts and like a bunch of her different works? No, it's not my fault, right? There's no way, there's no way it's my fault, right? Right? I'm just, I'm, yeah. Not being, I, okay, when I was, when I was younger, Watching Black Butler, I didn't know that people shipped CL and Sebastian because I I I was I was very I was very much like oh man I wanna kiss Sebastian and I didn't know there was a yaoi about it. So I mean it's been how many years since 
Black Butler? So, I mean... Yeah, no. Thankfully, I wasn't smart enough to be to be Fujo pilled with Black Butler. I mean, like, I get it now looking back. I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I could definitely see how. But for myself, no. No. I want to read the manga now. I, mean, uh, <laughs> I want to. This season is coming now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, this season is gonna, gonna uh, air. While I'm in Japan. So I'm like... I'm like, whoa. Whoa. I'm... I'm excited. I'm really... I'm really excited. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. It comes very soon. I feel like it's way sooner than I was expecting. So, yeah. 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 I hope... I hope there's like some fun stuff to look at. At least. For the new season. She planned this from the beginning. I didn't even know when I when I planned my trip the 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 new season was gonna air in the spring. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. That's literally crazy. I was so excited. I love Black Butler so much. <laughs> you ever think about how how if I never liked Black Butler, then I would never be streaming in front of six acrylic stands of this blue bitch. I wish I was normal. Sadly, I'm, I'm not. Black Butler's story is really good. It's just hard to explain to others without being asked if you like Yaoi. Exactly! I think Black Butler honestly has one of like the most interesting stories, especially with like what I kind of know about like what's been happening in it recently. Um, I feel like the story is really, really, really good. Just. Everybody always is like, it's yaoi, isn't it? Or like, this is so yaoi, but like, it's it's not. It's just it's just a good story. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I too wish I was normal. It was a gateway. Me liking Yana's works when I was younger have led to me still liking Yana's works when I am older. <laughs> a lifelong Yana Toboso fan. <laughs> it's not... Yeah. You sound like Rumi talking about the bar manga. I feel like a lot of a lot of series kind of suffer from like this this idea that like if you like this like this series or you like this thing, like a lot of people assume that it means like you like Yaoi or Yuri. Or like you're fixated on the Yaoi of a series, or you're fixated on the Yuri of a series, just because like that fan work is like the most notorious. Not always the most popular, but definitely notorious, right? Where it's like if you're somebody that really actually sits down and like looks at the material, then you're like, oh, it's actually not like that at all. Right? Right? I, it makes me a little sad when people are like, oh, you only like this because of, like, yaoi, or like, you only like this because like, you know, you ship things, or, you know, you're so fujo pills. It's like, that's really not always the case. I mean, like, I'm not gonna sit here and deny that like, you know, some fan works and stuff I don't like, like, you know, looking at and stuff, but also like, that's not like the main motivation for liking stuff. I don't know, it kind of happened a lot with Twist, uh, in the beginning, when I was first playing it a couple of years ago. And it's part of the reason why, like, I stopped playing it is because, like, every time I would mention it, people would be like, Oh, you just like it because of the yaoi. It's like, no, <laughs> I don't like the yaoi content for the series, like, at all, actually. But, like, it exists. But, like, I don't really like interacting with it, you know? Stuff like that. You can enjoy X without being on the fetish side of it. Yeah, like, like... Mm, it kind of happened with Love Live too. When I was really into Love Live, people would be like, "Oh, you just like it because of like the Yuri," and it's like, "No, that's not that's not it at all." So sometimes I feel like when people say stuff like that, like, "Oh, you only like this because of Yaoi," or like, "You only like this because you ship characters," it's like, uh, it's really exhausting, right? I feel like you can enjoy the fan works, but also like that doesn't have to be the main motivation for you liking a series. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I think it gets a little exhausting, right? And I feel like it definitely is like turned me off of liking a bunch of stuff that I used to like, just because like that is the the general idea behind it, right? But eh, 
Eh, I don't know. I try not to dwell on it too much. Yeah. I like love life for cute girls doing cute things. Exactly! I just like watching... I just like watching the cute girls doing the cute things. That's pretty annoying. Yeah. I don't know. I'm somebody, I feel like, that gets really affected by what other people say. So... Mm, it's not always easy for me to, like, maintain a singular interest. Because... When people start like ragging on it, I'm like, ugh, I don't want to like this anymore. It's making me sad. Tama ni Asagi. I've never, I've never heard of it. He's revoking your heaven pass. Man, man, ah, I wanted to go to heaven though. Man, I, it's like even, even, I know like real life Fujoshi's and like, well, obviously, right? But I feel like. They don't even talk about yaoi half as much as like other people. <laughs> people think that they do. Everything is better with salt, just saying. Yeah. Yeah, I'm never. I was like, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Tamanin Asagi. <laughs> you wanna go to heaven? I gave up on it. You're going to the has been hotel, brother. You're going, you're going to super hell. Has been hotel levels of hell. Yeah, I don't know how this, this tangent ended up devolving into like, into like my two cents on fucking yaoi. But, um, the way that I would use yaoi to prevent Pompeii, I think that, I, I think that, Mount Vesuvius would really, really, really like. I think Mount Vesuvius would really like reading Given, and then, and then if Mount Vesuvius read Given, it would, it would instead of being happy, it would be really, really sad because Given is sad. And then. And then it wouldn't erupt anymore because it wouldn't be angry. And it would, instead of emitting red lava, it would emit blue tears. And then, and then, and then um, it, we wouldn't have lava anymore. And then we would have more water on Earth to recycle. No shot. You did not read Given. Nimgo, I have something crazy to tell you. I have I have something crazy to tell you. Given is my favorite manga I have ever read. I I own the limited edition versions of the manga. Every single one. Um Um I have I have I have a very a very near and dear place in my heart for Given. I don't talk about it very much, but it is it is my favorite manga I've ever read in my entire life. Yes. I've mentioned this many times. People assume I like Disney because I like Kingdom Hearts. Disney parts. Primarily whatever make, movie makes a cut. I mean, absolutely nothing to me. I play for the original characters. Drake, that is so true. That is so true. Thank you for the 20 double dollars. People think that I'm a Disney adult because I like Twisted <laughs> Also, really big into Kingdom Hearts before, so so I completely get it. But <laughs> oh my god, it's so relatable. Help me! Help me! Help me! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I was even talking about Kingdom Hearts, like the freaking, the freaking. I the only thing I knew about the Hercules movie <laughs> until like two weeks ago was. That's the key to heart! <laughs> Twist is only barely related to Disney. I don't know how people make that assumption. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, there is, I would say, if the amount of Disney stuff that happens in Kingdom Hearts, like that, there is the same amount of Disney stuff that happens in Twist. The only thing is, like, they all have their own original cast, but, like, there's, <laughs> there's still, there's still a lot of Twist stuff. Don't care about Disney or the Yaoi. I don't care about the Yaoi and like the Disney doesn't really make or break it to me. I liked it because it was uh, Yana Toboso's work. And I really, 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 really love her story writing and her designs for the characters, which is why I started playing it. And I stuck around because I think the story is silly. 
Well, I mean, I thought the story was silly for a little bit, and then and then when I hit a certain point in the game, I was like, damn, the story's not silly anymore. I kind of want to gouge my eyes out now. So that's mine. <laughs> so this makes a lot of references to Disney, but then incorporates the Disney lore into Twist. Yeah, and then when I start doing that, I want to gouge my eyes out with my Apple pen that I'm holding in my hand and pretend that I'm normal. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's it talking about? Given? The guys are sick designs. Haven't watched the game though, just some videos of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been playing it on stream. I'm I'm not able to continue playing it at this moment in time. I'm really hoping that I can at least one more time before I go on my trip. But yeah, I've been playing it on stream and it's been fun. I like seeing your guys' reactions to it. Even if it's like very indulgent, it's been very fun for me. <laughs> Uh, but given, given, I think I told a story before on stream, but basically, like, the TLDR of given is this classmate I had in uni. Um, this classmate sat in front of me, and they were like, Zia, you need to watch this anime. You need to, you need to start watching this anime. It's so good. I think you would like it. This classmate and I barely knew each other's names, okay? Like, I don't know how this person assumed that, like, I would like something like this. But, but they were like, oh my god, Leah, you need to read this, or watch this anime. It just started airing. I'm super addicted to it. It's called Given. It's, like, about music, and it's a romance one. And, like, I don't like Yaoi, but, like, it's Yaoi. And I was like... Yeah, I'm literally not gonna do that, but thanks. So... Probably the keychains you had or something. Or the fact it was a Japanese class. I mean, yeah, some t One of the two of these! <laughs> I tried so hard to be a normie in my Japanese class in uni. I had My Hero Academia pins on my backpack. <laughs> I had this ugly little Bakugo plushie. Then I kept on my backpack. I don't even like My Hero Academia. I don't even like Bakugo. I just wanted to be like the most normie weeb. Because I think you can tell when you interact with me that I definitely am a weeb. But I didn't want to like be like the weeb that's like, Oh yeah, I love Kadoba no Chikon, brother. Like, you know, I don't want to be like that person. So I was like, yeah, if I just look normie, they might leave me alone. So that's what I was trying. That's what I was trying to go for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so... Like, my, my classmate would be like, Leah, you need to watch Given. And then every single day we had class would turn around and always talk to me about Given. And I would be like, brother, I'm not watching your stupid yaoi anime. Like, I don't like slice of life romance anime. Like, I'm not gonna watch this. But then, um, I was seeing like clips of it on Twitter. And I was like, oh, this is given. Like, okay, I kind of I kind of know a little bit about it. <laughs> so I was like, uh, you know, like I'm seeing it, but like I'm still not gonna watch it. And so when I was it was like we had an extended weekend and um episode the, the episode where they sing Fuyu no Hanashi came out and my classmate was like leah you have to watch like the, the song they they animated the song and it sounds so good and i was like i'm not gonna do that but then i was really bored over the the holiday weekend and so i was like you know what fuck it i'm gonna watch given so i watched given i i made some popcorn and i i got all cozy in my bed and i watched given yeah Hello Raiders! Welcome! Welcome, welcome! Hello everybody! And I, I watched... I watched Given... And I was like, man... Okay, first of all, the way Given starts was not like anything I expected it to be. Like, the first couple seconds of the first episode, I was like, Yo, what the fuck am I reading? Like, this is not what I was expecting, right? Given looks like free, but with music instead of swimming. It is, it is absolutely not! It is so... It, it, the first couple seconds of Given were not at all what I anticipated because the way that series starts, it was like... I wish I had some kind of trigger warning because what the fuck? So I was like, 
Hmm, interesting. So I watched it and I was like, I don't understand what makes this series so good. Like, I really don't care about anything that's happening. Hi, Yana! Thank you for the raid! Hello! Um, and I was, I was, you know, making it to like the music episode and I was like, yeah, the series just didn't click with me, but like, I've only got one more episode to watch. So I guess I will, I guess I will watch this episode. And I, I, I watched the Fuyu no Hanashi episode and I cried so hard watching that episode. I threw up in my popcorn. I, I cannot think of the last time that I ever cried that hard over an anime. I cried so hard, I made myself throw up in my bucket of popcorn. And then, and then, there was no more episodes to watch. And I got really, really, really attached to like the side characters. So I was like, I wonder how the side characters, like their story goes in the manga. Not expecting my... If you've seen Given, my favorite character is Haruki, okay? Absolutely, 100,000%, my favorite character is Haruki. And so I was like, okay. Okay, I'm gonna read the manga just to see like, you know, if Haruki, if Haruki, you know, scores. <laughs> Proceeded to sob for an entire day. I like, I like did not talk to anybody after catching up with the manga, I stayed in my bed, sobbing my eyes out. Given's awesome. It's it's literally awesome. I think everybody should read it. Yeah. Should probably finish it. Yeah. 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 It's... Given's really good. It's, it's a phenomenal series. I really, really, really like it. Very, 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 very much. I've never, I've never cried that hard <laughs> reading or watching anything before. It's very good. It's very good. I don't like Hoseki no Kuni. Sadly. Sadly, I never got into it. Is the manga still going? I think they're doing like a, right now it's like a after story part for the given manga. But the manga, like the main story is over. So I think it's like the 10 years, 10 years later that they're doing right now. But, oh my God, I love, Give It is so good. It's, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it even eclipsed Final Fantasy 15. I, <laughs> Final Fantasy 15, to be fair, didn't get me until I played episode Ignis. I was like, cry obviously I cried at the end of Final Fantasy 15, but I was like, yeah, this is really sad and really fucked up, but like, you know, it's fine. And then I played episode Ignis and I was like, hey, what if I bashed my head against my desk until my brain started leaking out of my ears? You know, you know, I, I would put them both, uh, both probably like the, uh, right around the same part, but Final Fantasy 15 kinda, kinda gets you at just one part. Given has three separate times in, the story that have made me like so unbelievably sad and like heartbroken that I haven't been able to like be a normal person. And whenever I'm like really having like a bad day or like having a rough time, I go and I read Given because if the, my, my philosophy is like, if I'm already sad, making myself sad more won't be a problem. But also, like, when I get really depressed, I'm like, damn, I want to feel some type of emotion that's not depressed. So I just go and I reread Given every time. I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> that's one way to deal with it. I just wanted my boy band road trip with homosexual undertones, man. I just wanted to go camping with the bros, not to end up traumatized by episode Ignis. The, the flashback scene at the end of episode Ignis is like the nail in the fucking coffin for that series, bro. You play through episode Ignis and everything is like, okay, I know how this ends and I am fully prepared for it. But 
that la that last like moment at the campsite what why did they do that why did they do that that's not <laughs> i was watching a lot of kiss through the petals i love kiss through the petals it's really good you should play the vns yeah i will i was always recommend the vns for that one yeah yeah it was the last camping yeah that last camping scene just really fucking does it for you I don't have any merch for Final Fantasy 15, but I do have this little music box that plays the main theme of the game. And, um, yeah, it's awesome. I want to cry every time I hear it because I remember how awful episode Ignis is. Yay. <laughs> uh, literally, Sayano Uta? Sayano Uta? Is that what you mean? Sayano Uta, yeah, I, I wanted to play Meat Simulator, not end up like traumatized and sad. I don't have Kiss Through the Petals again. It's very good. It's very, 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 very good. The music box? Let me grab it. It's tiny. It's right. It's right here. It's kind of dusty though. It's gonna play for a long time if I start it. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna go for a while now. I don't know how to make these things stop. <laughs> I don't know how to make these things stop, but it's still going. <laughs> oh, wait. It's off now. Cool. Cool. <laughs> wait, I'll put it back. Yeah, I was, I was, I was buying the, uh... I don't, I don't remember what I was buying. No, I was buying Bravely Default merch. For the anniversary, and I was like, "Oh, I should just add this to the cart," and I did, and I don't regret it. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Can we have that for your BGM? No, get Leah pilled, freaking bozo! Come on, get Leah pilled, get Leah pilled, get Leah pilled, get Leah pilled. More to the collection. Yeah. I wish I made like the bravely default theme as a music box like that. So I could put it on my little Bravely Default shelf. But they don't, because they hate me! They hate me! God! What did I do to you, Square Enix? Please, I'm sorry, I won't play your shit game! Uh, please, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! But please, please give us another... Another... Another Bravely Default game, I'm sorry! <laughs> please! Really, the fault was comfy until the second half. It made you redo the game like four times, but the finale was great. I don't care. I don't care what people say about Bravely Default. Oh, the game is too grindy. Oh, the second half of the game is bad. Oh, Bravely Second is bad. Oh, I don't understand. No, I don't care. I, I am, I am the biggest defender of that game. I don't care what anybody says. That game could literally do no wrong to me, ever, ever. I, I literally don't care. Like you could sit here and be like, Leah, the game is bad, or it's too grindy, or like the. The, no, Bravely 2 is good. No, not Bravely 2. I said Bravely 2nd, not Bravely 2. Fuck you. No, no, fuck you. I said Bravely 2nd, not Bravely Default 2. There is a fucking distinction between those two games. You shut the fuck up. Right now. <laughs> you shut the fuck up. Right now. Bravely Default and Bravely, Bravely Default 2 and Bravely 2nd are completely different games. What did I fucking hate Elvis? I fucking hate Elvis so much. Literally, fuck everything about Bradley Default 2. Fuck that game, fuck the cast, fuck Elvis specifically. No. What's so good about Bradley Default? Alternus Dim. Alternus Dim, the Dark Knight asterisk bearer. This is my favorite fucking character. I freaking love Alternus. No! Not Elvis. Alternus. Alternus Dim. Alternus Dim. I got Bravely Second on the 3DS. Yeah, you should play it. It's really good. I like uh Jean. Jean from that one. Jean. And I forget the 
forget the other guy's name. Yeah. Imagining the singer Elvis. No, he's Scottish. He sounds like fucking Shrek and he wears a fedora and he has a goatee. I hate him. I hate him. I've never wanted to strangle a man so badly. Oh my God. What about the gameplay though? I don't give a fuck what the gameplay is about. I love like grindy ass RPG games. I'm on the Ring of Bell train and only the Ring of Bell train. Um, actually, I am an alternate stim fan because um, I'm the freaking pocketbook of R pilled and I love alternate stim. You've clearly never read the pocketbook of R, idiot. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> you, you, oh, I love Ring of Bell. I love, you've never read pocketbook of R and it fucking shows. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Go read Pocket Book of R, and then you tell me that Ring of Bell is your favorite character. You look me in the eye and you say that to me, buddy. Alternus Dim is the only man in that game I can give a fuck about. Maybe Victor, but Alternus Dim? Please. Please. Leah says that I can't tell if she means she hates him or is in love with him. No, I legitimately hated everything about Briefly Default 2. I was so excited for that game. I pre-ordered it and I was like, this is gonna be the best. This is gonna be amazing. Oh my God. And I played it for like five hours. And I was like, this game is literally ass and I hate it. And then I never played it again. Yeah. JRPG fans will spend 900 hours grinding out the same game and I'm one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care how grindy Briefly Default is. I, I go through those dungeons like my life depends on it. And I'm like, ha ha, again! And then I'm fighting those awful monsters. And ha ha, again! And then you go through like the whole uh, vampire asterisk quest. And ha ha, again! It's awesome. It's awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Literally like incredible, amazing. 10 out of 10. No flies. Briefly Default, bad. It Bravely Default 2 is bad because it doesn't have your favorite character. No, I just didn't like the cast of Bravely Default 2. Like, at all. Like, what, what was his name? Seth? Seth? I didn't like. He felt too YN for me. I don't want to play this game for a freaking player insert. I want to play this game to experience character growth and development. And then I forget the the... Vestal's name, she was annoying. And then Elvis and his edgy ninja girlfriend. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gloria, Gloria! Yeah, literally fuck everybody in that game. I hate those characters. You know who has a good cast of characters? Bravely second and Lair. Bravely second to end layer has a wonderful cast of characters. So I highly, highly, highly encourage, like, why would you have Gloria when Magnolia is right there? And Magnolia is a sexy mommy character whose butt cheeks are hanging out the whole time. Awooga, bark, bark, grr, growl, mommy, mommy, you know? YouTube, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say mommy. It was, it was a joke, I'm sorry. Please. Please don't ban my channel. Sorry. <laughs> I love Magnolia. And I like Idia's freaking, um, her outfit in Bravely Second. So cute. I love her in blue. Like the red is really cute, but her blue outfit is so good. Oh my God. I thought Leah hated, no. I like, okay, Bravely Default and it's direct sequel, Bravely Second and Lair. I love those games. They could do no wrong to me. I literally do not care. What? So her name is Idiot. Okay, the stream is fucking over. We're done. We're done here. You are so, you are so bad. You are so bad. You are so bad for my channel. <laughs> I will so Brother, brother, be so.
so for real right now. Oh my God. You set yourself up for that one. I've been setting myself up for that joke since like 2013. That, this was a joke like nine years in the making. So congratulations, Grand Wazoo. A joke nine years in the making. I hope you feel really good about it. Actually, I don't know when Briefly Second came out. 2015? Something like that? When did I play it? I don't remember. I don't remember. Anyways. Six, six, seven years? You were like nine years old in 2013. Absolutely. It was awesome. Me and my 3DS against the world. Fake fan doesn't know when it came out. I don't remember when it came out. I don't remember. Like, I, I don't know. How does it feel that your entire life has led to this moment? I'm gonna bash my head into a wall tonight. Who's idiot? Is this a friend of yours? Ugh. I'm cradling him in my hands. Go back up here. Okay. <laughs> I was a grown ass man in 2013. That's, that's crazy. The generational gap is insane. I was not grown at all in 2013. I was, yeah, <laughs> I was on Tumblr. <laughs> Uh, this stream got so far off topic, but that's okay because we have two hours of... It's been, it's been two hours of Leah's stream, which is more hours than usual. So, I'm going to find somebody to raid. I hope I spelled YouTube right. Maybe. Maybe. I didn't mean to stream for this long, but thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah. Wait, some super chats that I missed. Tobias, thank you for the three double dollars. And Cave, thank you for the three double dollars. Your doodles look like Roman mosaics. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, who's streaming right now? Rooney. Rooney. Okay. Uh, this one. Nice. Okay. Um, I am going to send you guys all to Miss Rooney Ruth. And, um, I don't really know what else to say. Tomorrow, I'm collabing with Pippa and Amy and Hina. I still don't know if, uh, I'm going to be streaming my POV on that. So, I will tweet to let you guys know. Otherwise... Um, yeah, I'll have another solo stream on my channel on Thursday. Please remember for the Rid Mama collaboration uh, to send all of your Q&A questions that you want answers to, to my Marshmallow. And, and, uh, yeah, subscribe on your way out, bozos. I see, I see all of you guys. Sub on your way out, or misfortune upon ye. <laughs> Hi, Otsui, everybody. Thank you for coming. I hope you have a fun time watching Miss Rooney. Bye-bye, Otsu, Otsu.